Well, welcome back to Rama. Now, in this episode, we're going to be a bit more energetic than last time. The last episode was not really an episode, and I will probably upload episode number one, which will be this, and episode number zero on the same day, because there's probably some people who just can't be bothered watching all those videos, and I can understand that. But for those who do, I made episode number zero, and now we're actually going to get started with Rama. Now, um, if you look... <laughs> I have, I have wed the locker. Uh, I don't even know that was just a, a, a thing I tried. Um, I had a few issues with the last time, so I did quite a bit of recording tests. And now we're going to go ahead and play it. So yes, yes, I had this before. I don't know what this is. It reminds me of a kind of weird pterodactyl or something. I don't know if it is. But the first thing we need to do is we need to go over here, and th these are the lockers, and you can hear the knocking. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you will you will n remember that there was this one guy who create created a kind of helper robot, a Shakespearean kind of helper robot, and that's inside here. So let's open this up and see what's going on. Yes, indeed, I'm Puck, or more accurately, your Puck. I was created by Master Wakefield to be your guide, but not your conscience. I hasten to point out. Truth be told, I enjoy mischief and adventure far more than your average elf. I've been programmed with all sorts of fascinating information gleaned from our initial sorties into Rama. I also possess a special multi-wave receiver that permits me, on your behalf, to pick up transmissions of many different kinds. I am, in a phrase, entirely at your service. Now, what we can do with this guy... Yes, now what we can do with this guy, basically... Oh. What is going on? Oh, yeah, that was the cable car. So, basically, we, we can make him... The lockers were... Yeah, he just tells us what's going on. Now, what I've been wanting to find out... If you remember last episode... There was this woman who told us about well, giving her her lighter. She forgot it to appear in one of the lockers. Now, what I thought was maybe I can use like one of these and kind of break break open the locker. However, that doesn't work. I, I, I've tried, but it doesn't seem to work. There's a few others. There's like a knife, but that doesn't work either. So I, I really do not know. I don't think a spoon will help to be brutally honest. Nope, that doesn't help either. He can't do anything with... Fuck off. <laughs> I can't, he can't do anything with it, and I, I'm really not sure what this is, because, I mean, it, how I get to her locker, I've really been wondering, and I, I'm, I cannot tell you how I get into this locker. And I, I'm, I've got to be honest, I don't know, I've looked around last episode, I actually recorded another episode before this one just to try out a few things and I I gotta be honest I looked around for like half an hour I, I couldn't find anything that was even closely resembled some kind of key and I have absolutely no idea how I am supposed to kind of open anything here because I really don't find a way so yeah I don't know what to do and I really don't know how to use it. Do I just click on things? If I did, then this should work, but it doesn't work. So I, I can't tell you how, how to get into these lockers. There's nothing to click on, nothing that I can see. I obviously can't use my key, because, well, <laughs> it's not my stuff. So I, I really have no idea. So the first thing I, I did last time was just go downstairs which is what I'm going to do now. Also, before I do that, I actually want to show you. I walked back here, I found a ladder, and this actually was qu quite creepy. And I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It's a nuclear bomb. Now I'm not sure why this is here. I really cannot tell you why this is here. This is really strange. Why would there be a nuclear bomb here? And I think we'll find this out some time but not yet so we'll see what happens with that bomb and what we're going to do now is 
take the cable car down and uh, four, one, four, three. So we're actually going to go into Rama now, really into. So you can see Rama light up now. They've switched on the lights, and this is basically the, how I imagine Rama to look like. Since, as I said before, I've read the book, and this is really quite, really quite closely resembles what I thought about Rama, and I quite like that. So, this is the main reason I played this game because reading about a thing it, uh, it's quite interesting, but actually exploring it on your own. I think is always really cool, so I think this is going to be quite a lot of fun. And um, yes, this is. I have been here. That's all I've done before, and I really hope that this time I will find out how to do stuff. Now I just took this. During my ride down on the cable car, I remembered seeing in your dresser that you were a big fan of the 20th century writer Arthur C. Clarke. Oh, how funny! If you don't know, the book, Rama, was written by Arthur C. Clarke, so this is kind of funny. <laughs> it's funny in quotation marks. Just in case you didn't have time to pack reading material before you left the, the Newton, I have left a data cube containing one of my favourite Clarke passages. An excerpt from 3001 on the table next to this note. I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Okay. Let's see. Data cube. No data cube. I want... Oh yeah, that's correct. That's that's correct. I was like, what? Oh my god. So yes, I could, if I wanted to, I could read... So this is literally just an excerpt from the book. Which I'm not going to read. If you want to read, you can... Pause... At the appropriate time. But I'm definitely not going to read this at the moment. Because... It's quite a lot of stuff, and I don't think... Mm, I don't know if people would be interested in this, but if you're interested in seeing or reading a passage from 3001, you're welcome to do so. However, I'm not going to do that right now. And, yes. Um, computer. So let's go... What's this? certainly aren't smart. Oh, hello. I, I didn't know you were down here already. Hey, wasn't it a shock when the lights came on? It nearly scared me to death. I, I just stood there for several minutes and stared at everything. What a place. You're probably wondering what I am doing with this. Brown and Wakefield think we are going to capture an alien. <laughs> Yes, really. Can you imagine it? I just hope the Ramans or whoever created this damn place don't decide to capture us instead. Dr. Takagishi had a word for our attitude. He told me last night, after Brown overruled his objection to the hunt, that our leader and chief engineer both suffer from hubris. <laughs> at least, at the very least. Alright, that was the Ukrainian woman, I think. Um, I remember there being some stuff, right, this kind of stuff. Now, you, this music actually reminds me of another game from around this time period, which is uh, enemy UFO Enemy Unknown, I think is, is what it's called. And, yeah, it really reminds me of that. Now, yes, I remember we get this. So, the latest dice I gathered, gathered from observations since I lit Rama have been incorporated into this map. Please note newly observed artifacts and structures. Investigate as soon as possible. Now, we're here. So, this is where we are. And I really got to remember this. So, we, we're here. And we can explore all these places. We can go all to all these places, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try explore, and I have no idea what I'll be finding. And you probably remember this is this sort of exploration game from the 90s. So you got to remember this is 
I'm probably going to suck at this. I, oh, look at this. You can see Rom in the background. So I'm probably not going to be this good at this game. But, oh, yeah, I remember this part. Yes, yes. I so I played a bit of bit of this before, and I got to say I actually died here. So a bit of a spoiler. So I'm not gonna go here just just now. I'll be going back and just exp seeing a few things that are here. Oh, it's you! Give me your key so I can open your locker, please. Otto asked me to leave this computer card in the tent site, and I'm on telecast deadline. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. She just dropped it on the ground. She didn't even give it to me. She's just... Yeah, take it. Oh, yeah, this is one of those trash trash bin things, isn't it? That appears to be a temporary rubbish bin. Yep, it is. Oh, give me, give me. I'll take it. So, what's this? What? Metal seed. Looks look, looks like a cucumber. Looks like, it just look like a cucumber. How is that a seed? Th that's a cucumber. You can tell me whatever you want. That's a fucking cucumber. No 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 no. So w what do I do with the cucumber? What was that? Okay. 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 What is this now? Oh, look. Can I put the cucumber in here? Oh, what the f... Mm. This looks inappropriate. Um. 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 <laughs> okay, what's going on? So this fills up, and... Can I... I mean, is there anything I could put in here? Something? Well, to tell me. I believe this is a distillation mechanism. This. I believe this is a distillation mechanism. Distillation mechanism, eh? I can't put any of my things in here, can I? No. Uh. Okay. What was that for? I I, I made the cucumber. Like if I, I mean, you can see the dial up here, and this bubbles up after I put the cucumber in. What was that? That was just something standing up here. I couldn't display options. Oh, that was just display options. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> can I? I mean, this looks like it would fit here, but I don't think it does. Does it? No. Come on, Puck, what is this? I believe oh. this is a distillation mechanism. So none of this will fit, will it? I don't think it will. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, I put one of those cucumbers in there. I hope I haven't screwed myself yet. What's this? Well, that's mine. But, but what are you? Looks like a gun. It really does look like a gun. Can you shoot or something? Can I put... I don't think I can put anything in here. What is it? An ancient device that resembles a cannon. It well, appears to be missing some pieces, so it is probably useless. Well... Symbol plaque. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Uh, already! This is mysterious as... Sad state of disrepair. Uh, tisk tisk. Tisk tisk, yes, tisk. What did I just pick up? What is this? Bent rod. Uh, it surely is a bend rod. Why did I pick up a bent rod? Oh boy. Yes, this is going to be. Is there anything else I can do here? Buy art of some sort that has obviously been in disrepair for a long time. Yeah, but anything I can do here except you talking? Oh! How many of these bloody pieces? Well, is this going to be like a puzzle? It surely looks like it would be. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. See that? Yes. Pigeon from hell. Don't, don't, don't kill me, please. So, uh, actually, I was thinking, can I use my tool somewhere here?
I can't really change any settings here, but I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Space cucumber. Uh, I'm gonna save because, as I said, I've had a few problems with this game before crashing on me. So how do? I'm a bit confused. But I think that's the point. <laughs> I think you're supposed to be confused. I. Yes, the thing is now. There's so much to do, you don't even know where to start. Whoa, 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 what happened here? A buyout of some sort has Uh. Um. Can I put the rod in here or something? The active machinery is resisting your effort. Yes, what, what's your problem, mate? The active machinery is resisting your effort. Hmm. So, this guy got captured by the machine, and I don't think I can do anything in here, can I? I don't know what these do. What are they for? That cable is too strong to cut. That cable is too strong to cut with that. Hmm. So I could cut the cable. Is there anything else? Maybe knife? Oh, no knife. Okay. Spoon! Yeah, let's cut it with a spoon. That's gonna. Help! So I can't cut it with the the obvious tool. That cable is too. That 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 cable is too. That that that, that cable. Okay. Um, I can't cut it with a key. Probably. What's this? Note from the call. Can I just dump the note here? Okay. So I think I need something to cut this open, which is good. We're making some some progress. We're not completely confused anymore. So this just... Actually, I'm gonna go back to the camp, and... So... This was supposed to be left on the desk, so... Am I supposed to do that? Do I have to, like, leave it... On the desk here? Because I remember... Oh! I forgot one thing. So there was this one girl, she told me to leave this here, as you remember. Oh, fridge! Hmm... I'd like some soda in a cardboard box. Thank you. <laughs> Has anybody ever seen soda in a cardboard box? I certainly have not. Okay, I can just put this here, but... Hmm. Is this... Is it possible to use this chip with the computer upstairs? I don't... I mean, it's worth a try, I guess. We'll find out. I'd be interested in finding out whether this would be possible to do. Oh, it's bright up here now. That's good. So let's 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 see. Is there, yes, that looks like it would fit. Oh, come on, a thousand percent. This would fit in here. Look, it's just like you put this in here. Why doesn't it work? Bloody computers, not compatible with anything. Hmm. Now, I'm a bit confused as to what I have to do. I thought I could put this data cube into there, but apparently I can't. And I don't see any sort of key either, so oh, I'm really confused. But the thing is, with these kind of 90s adventure games like these, they're always quite confusing, at least in my experience, so... I hope I'm not just stupid. I think I'm just making up excuses because I'm too stupid to figure out this stuff. Come on, this has to be opened. Somehow. Somehow I have to open this. Yeah, I can't open it with Mikey, but this perhaps? This perhaps? No? Hmm. I can't use... Maybe the knife. The knife would seem the most logical thing to use here, but I don't think I can use this on here either. Strange. The, the locker. The lockers. Yes. Could you open the bloody locker for me? You're my assistant. Like, help me for once. Jesus. Okay, they, I don't think there's any way of opening this at all. 
At, at least for now. I, I, I don't think I can break this open. Hmm. Hmm, the, 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 hmm, yeah, hmm. I don't know. I thought this could be here, maybe, but no. I mean, this is kind of looks like a kind of temporary camp they set up, but... Okay, let's get down back. Get to, get back down. I can't go here, no, I can't. Okay, so, hmm. So we're going to go back downstairs. We're just going to leave this here, as we were supposed to, so... Let's go to... Hello? Hello? What the hell is this? Okay. Aha! Wait, no, 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 no! Oh my god, is this going to be some sort of logic puzzle? I... What? Was that correct? Did I do something correctly? What is going on? I just threw something in here. Well, you know what? Before I die, I'm going to save this and kind of call it Puzzle... P pizzle, yes. Why not not, why not Pizzle Mania? Mesnia, whatever. I know, <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, alien device. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? What? 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 Four. What? Two. What's... What is this? So, it just gives me numbers. I can type in a number and then it lights up in white. Thirty-three. So I'm just gonna try this out. Maybe this will do anything. But even if it, I mean, I don't know. The music is still quite awesome. I have to say, I quite like the music. It's uh, yeah, it reminds me of this old. This type of music is quite good for this kind of game, I think. Two one five four zero. Two one five four zero. Okay, so the numbers are getting higher. Uh, oh, okay, it did do something. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so this opened. What about these? What happens if I... Now, this is what I kind of like about this game. You're just thrown in without knowledge of anything. And I really like that fact. They just throw you in and you don't know anything about anything. It's... It's quite cool. But what is this now? Those objects seem to be common terrestrial golf balls. Yeah, they are. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, maybe they're kind of... Are they teaching themselves what our numbers are like? Like... I don't know, it kind of looks like it. Is there anything I can do here? Like, I don't know. A display of human numbers. Yes. A display of human I oh, know this is a display of human numbers. Twenty-seven. Ninety-nine. Twenty-one. Oh my god, what's this? 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 minus 2 equals 1, 2 minus 2 equals 0, yes. So, is this teaching the aliens what our numbers are like? Is this what this is? Or does this serve any higher purpose? Ooh, ooh, ooh hello!
Okay. So this is just people saying vowels. The 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 spaceship. Wow! Look at that. Okay, so we have a spaceship. This is I think this is the museum. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> okay. So that looks like a kind of museum. Oh, the globe. It just probably spins around. Okay. Not sure what that is. Flight. I don't know. Continents? I cannot tell you. A model of the human planet Earth. Of the human planet Earth. Yes, thank you. That is, I know it's a human planet. Uh, a chair. Is that just a chair? Just a chair. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So this lights up. Um... Just lights up, okay. Ooh, I could use this. Can I take this? I could definitely use use this for the cable outside. A pair of heavy clippers. Yes. I can't take it, can I? Hmm. So I don't think I can take these, but let's go back for a second. Oh, what are you? Another one of those puzzle things. Okay. Let's try... Let's try... I mean, these machines... I've, what's... What the hell? What? 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 Oh my god, you actually want me to count? Oh no. Well, that's three. That, that's easy enough. That's six. So, that's easy enough as well. I wonder what this down here means. Like, the kind of lights showing different aliens. Interesting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven times six is sixty-six. Okay, wrong. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times three should be thirty-three. Oh wait. The twenty-two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh I'm stupid, it should be twenty-seven, not twenty-six. Yeah, see, I'm bad at math. One, two, three so this should be eleven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. This should be 81. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm not stupid after all. Well, sort of. Um, this should, I think this should be 9. Okay. Um, it was 10. <laughs> I thought it was 9, I didn't want to count. <laughs> so 11 times... 3 is 33, 11, well, 11 times 3 is 33, and then, a, then another 10 is 43. So, we're just doing maths. I, I didn't want to go back to school to play this game. <laughs> oh my god, again, okay. 11 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 times 10 is 110. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 115 this should be. Yes, it is. Okay. 115. Oh, now it opens again. That was, it has disintegrated with age. Ooh. Okay. I hope I didn't kill it because I took too long. I probably did, to be honest. What? Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna get a calculator for this. Because I'm not gonna do maths just because this game tells me to. You're not my teacher. Well, that's nine. I don't need a calculator for that one. <laughs> Bloody game. I'm really bad at calculating things in my head. Um, so, uh, 
Yes, I'll just... Sorry. Um, because I'm really bad at calculating things in my head. I'm just going to use a calculator for most of these things. Yeah, see? Oh, it's 85, but, you know, I, I can do those kind of things, but... If it's more difficult... No way. <laughs> no bloody way. Also, just... It's a lot more quick. Yeah, see? 79 minus 16 is 30... 63. That's more quick, you know? I don't want to spend all my time doing maths questions. Especially because I don't know what's in there. See, what the hell? I'm not going to do that in my head. 10, 997 plus 11, 766. 22, 22, 7, 63. There we go. Oh, it opened. What are you? A crystal? Red gem. It certainly is red. Well, what do you have to tell me about this machine? Nothing? There are three of these machines with a stylized human icon and an input device which... Nine. Nine? Oh, so that's just the machine where you copy. I don't think redoing this is going to give me anything. I mean, I'll just try it out, just because I want to. I want to see. Oh, thirty-three. I really want to know what these buttons here are for. They look quite interesting. They look like kind of aliens that you would see. I'm not sure. So... A09... Yeah, it opens and... Yeah, that's just... You know, there's no point in redoing them then. I thought there might be something new in there, but... Okay. So we've done all these, we've gotten everything that was in here. And there was nothing in here, it was dead. Which I hope wasn't my fault, I did do quite a lot of mistakes there. I don't know if this has a higher pur- I don't think it has a higher purpose, to be honest. I think it's just there for you to... ...marvel at. <laughs> I don't know. So have we got a gem? A red gem. So what do we do with a red gem? There wasn't anything in here for a red gem. Ooh. Ooh, where it, where, uh, this wasn't open before, was it? Mm. What the hell, dickhead? Just, just, did you just steal my thing? You just stole my fucking thing! Oh no, it didn't steal it, I just my hand, okay. So both of these are wrong. Oh wait, 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 so... So these kinds of logic puzzles, I tell you, I'm really bad at those. I really am. It, it, I've never been good at these, ever, so... If I get one right here, this it would just be luck. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get one of those right. Because these logic puzzles, I tell you, I'm... I don't know. I never quite understand how you solve them, because I'm stupid. Yeah, so you have two chances, and then it just you know, gives you something new. Hmm, interesting. Uh, no, no. I didn't want to open it again. But yeah, these logic puzzles, I think I have to kind of learn how to do that a bit more if I'm going to finish this game because there seems to be a lot of those logic puzzles in here. So the red gem. Can I put it under here? Hmm. 
Hmm. I haven't seen those, but this looks red gem. It's not a red gem. Damn it! <laughs> this looked like a button where you put. What is this? That's a guitar. Oh, 3D games! How fascinating! But I can't take any of these, can I? It's a shame. I'll go back outside. That was very interesting, but I'm... Okay, I can't do anything else here. So that I just threw one in there last time, it was pure luck that I found anything. Good to know. Oh, there's another... Oh, it's him. Oh, hello there. Haven't seen you in ages. Look, I found yet another new and fascinating Raman artifact. You've never it's seen me once. A lens of some kind. It's neither glass nor plastic. <laughs> Engineering lab's back on it. They'll have a field day with it. Still, it's sufficiently translucent enough that I'm sure it is an optical instrument of some kind. Oh, here. Take a look. Just drops oh. it on the floor. Damn, someone's always calling for the chief engineer. Got to dash. You all Thank you for the lens. Optical lens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What? Hello? Uh, he 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 hello? Ah. <laughs> okay. Have I been up here? Ah, uh, yes. I've been. I think I've been to most places actually. Yeah, this is the. Hmm. There's another one here. Oh, it's this guy. I'm sorry, but for security reasons, you're not allowed to continue in this direction. Doctor Brown has designated me to control this access bay temporarily. Later in the mission, when our explorations are more complete, this pathway will no longer be verboten. Damn it. Okay, I can't go there. What was that? What are you? Who are you? Why are you? Oh no, I remember this from the book now. Yeah, I think those are the trash collectors, actually. I think those are the ones that um, pick up trash and collect it and stuff. I think that that's what they are. Is that all that, that was there? No, 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 no. Ooh, what? It's a bit confusing. Uh, oh, that's okay. That's <laughs> that's where I'm back here. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. There's. I mean, what what is this? It just kind of blocks my path, doesn't it? An ancient artifact made of red crystal. I don't think I can get through there, can I? It's just... Hmm. I thought I might have something to do with the gem, but nope. Hmm. Is that all that I can do in this this region? You just watch those fellas and then that's it. Oh, there's another. Ooh, who are you? Is this really all I can do in these regions? Seems a bit strange. Ah! Again, how are you doing? I'm good. I 
was just over at the tent site, talking with Richard Wakefield. He was showing me a couple of items that Michael O'Toole had found and left there. One of them was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. It still amazes me. Here we are inside of an extraterrestrial spaceship, carrying on a normal conversation. What an astounding life. Oops. Looks like Dr. Brown needs me. I've got to get going. I hope to see you soon. The, the music is a bit annoying when people talk. Uh, I think that that could have been done without. They could have just, you know, not used, used that. I don't think I've been... Perhaps you have not understood oh, what sorry. you said. This area is off limits to you. <laughs> you cannot proceed in this direction. Now turn around and go back the way you came. Or I will notify Dr. Brown and I warn you. He will not be happy with your behavior. Calm down, man. I'm just trying to explore. Okay, so that one down there. Don't go there. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. So, we've died. And Arthur C. Clarke is here to tell us that we've died. Sorry about that. I hope you aren't upset because we've killed your alter ego, the replacement astronaut. I am upset. Now, because of that, um, we have Pizzle Maznia, and... I don't... Yeah, I think I have to redo all of these. So, now we've died, and this is going to happen more often, I believe, and because we've died, I think it's a good time to stop recording here, and next time, we will try and discover more of the secrets of Rama. But for now, I think it's time to say goodbye, and I hope to see you next time, when we're going to hopefully survive, and not die. See you then!